me show you guys what I did here. Uh, I'm in Kansas. Trip log, I guess. Start eight, whatever, tenth or something. <laughs> so I'm in Kansas. Uh, as you know, we went to South Dakota. That was a bust. I was staying in a hotel room for a week and a half, almost two weeks, and uh, it's like 80 bucks a night, and it started getting expensive, so uh, changed up a little bit. Got myself a little apartment, and uh, very, very different, very different. Just got out of the shower. First thing I did was went through and washed all of the linens, because it's not a hotel room. They don't have that service, but they got that. Uh, got a couple little closets here, here, little sitting area, bedroom. I went grocery shopping last night. Very cool. Got some groceries, some healthy stuff, and some, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. Right? Home is where the leftovers are. <laughs> so, this is cool, man. It comes with everything. It's got dishes and silverware, the whole nine yards. I've cooked a few meals on this, getting used to the range already. Very strange. Anyway, kind of a cute little place. I like the, I like it. I, I, at first, I didn't. When I first walked in, you can see kind of downtown there. Day I moved in, I was nauseous. Uh, and I don't do well with big open height spaces, so <laughs> this was weird. Uh, anyway, walked in looking at this lofted thing with this this kind of setup that they've got. That's that's my quilt. It's all my bed stuff out of the Prius over there. So I was like, man, how bohemian! <clears throat> and uh, this was on the coffee table. <laughs> This is a cool book, man. It's got all kinds of little fashion tips for your pad, you know? So I've been kind of flipping through that a little bit. I like it. But I've been spending a lot more time looking at houses. So, And that is a chore. Anyway, it's... it's uh, I'll tell you, um, I've never lived alone before, ever. And uh, the most striking thing about it is it's lonely. I mean, it, it's kind of not because I've been busy. I've been really busy with this stuff, but uh, and working with the agent. But coming home and being alone, it's it's lonely. So, but it's nice uh, being able to clean up after yourselves and not have uh, three or four kids <laughs> destroy the place right after you. So, it's a balance. It's a trade-off. I, I don't think uh, loneliness is a good good trade necessarily but anyway let me roll the intro turn this thing around and tell you what i've been up to and what's going on in the world so like i said i shot this video the other day <laughs> in here and uh, I didn't realize the problems with the sound quality and I just did uh, a couple of little shoots right now to check the sound quality and the air conditioning system is really loud for the microphone anyway yeah uh, I got a text message I'll have to look at that in a minute so I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. Uh, I gotta go through and delete a whole lot of photos of houses. Some of the stuff we've been looking at. Uh, what gets me, what gets me on these is this photo quality on the little flyers that we get. And this is my agent printing these out for me. Uh, it's about the photo qualities you get. And this is just, three of the ones from yesterday because uh, I sprung two of them on him and he, he, he handled it. He shipped it on the fly. Uh, working with a guy named Daniel. Good, good dude. I really like the dude. Anyway, I'm in Wichita. <laughs> the, uh, the housing market here is starting to soften up a little bit, but we're having a hard time finding anything. And 
uh, complaining about the pictures again, the picture quality's online, everything looks good. Well, then you get there and you realize how fuzzy those pictures were. These phones, you forget a, a DSLR or something, these phones shoot in 8K now. How do you have, well, I know how you don't have, you're not going to have people come look at it if they see how rotten and terrible within the price range we're looking. Rotten and terrible seems to be the order of the day. Mm. So, went to Twister City Harley, talked to a few of those people, got a mug. It doesn't say Twister City Harley on it, but uh, it's another Harley mug. Anyway, uh, yeah, looking at houses here, uh, one of the first things I did was drove around downtown. You know, we spent a few days uh, looking at houses. I drove around downtown. I'm going to roll some pictures in here while we're talking about it. Uh, these Midwest towns, their downtown is a lot older than I'm used to seeing. Uh, Bakersfield had a really cool downtown. But uh, there was an earthquake back in the 50s that just leveled, you know, almost all of it. So the, these pictures you're seeing of uh, downtown uh, Wichita, that is a cool, this is a cool area, especially just to the uh, just to the west of where I'm at is a, a town called Delano or an area called Delano. It's part of Wichita. Uh, really, really cool, really cool. But uh, they don't have. 8.0 earthquakes here, so they still have all their old buildings. I'll tell you what. What is kind of weird is uh, the last major tornado they had in Twister City was uh, 91. They have tornadoes, but they're just like you know, they're like uh, really big dust devils, I guess. I don't know. They don't do a lot of damage or destroy a lot of property. They don't kill people. They have tornadoes, but what they do have a lot more than tornadoes is earthquakes all the way up to the 4.1, 4.2. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're not having a whole lot of luck looking for houses here. Um, but I will say this, considering the market, we've put two bids in on decent houses. They're older. Um, I, I put some pictures if I've got them here. Or I love this one. It had the, the workshop. I love the workshop in this one. Two stories, huge barn looking thing. Uh, and you, you know where I'm going to spend most of my time. <laughs> but that house, the kitchen was really cool. If I can put a little shot. I don't want to show the whole house because somebody else got it. Uh, we put a bid on that. We went a little bit higher than I was really comfortable going but I was willing to do it I liked the house enough uh, the kitchen was really cool and me and mom were talking oh we'd leave that kitchen alone you know I changed the look of the outside a little bit here and there but uh, anyway we put that one in after this this house I'll show you a picture of it this house was a little small but it had a garage and a really big backyard we could convert the garage and uh, for what we were offering on it they wanted 95 we offered 100 we could afford to go through and would pay cash for the property. Huge lot, uh, 10,000 square feet lot, almost 990, whatever. Or 9,900, whatever, 40 something. I, I did the math on it. <laughs> anyway, friggin' uh, we didn't get either one of those, but the thing is, is inside of a couple of weeks, you know, we've got a couple of really decent candidates that we put offers in on. And, uh, we started expanding our search towards the end of the first week I was here. Uh, we looked at a neat looking house. Here, here, here's me driving by it now. There's a really neat house up in Hutchinson. They call it the Hutch. But uh, Hutchinson is like 40,000 people. It's, there's not a lot of job opportunities there, but you're 45 minutes away from uh, Wichita. So you still have the opportunities here for the boys they start looking at getting an apartment and moving out and you know once Ben's done with high school Gabe's already done he's got his diploma now start getting a job you can lease an apartment for you know 600 you can lease a house for $600 a month here you know uh, I got this that you saw in the intro or before the intro I got this. This is expensive, but no credit check. It's it's like it's like a hotel room. It's like nineteen hundred bucks. I think I'm paying includes 
cable, power, uh, all the amenities. There's a really nice lounge over here with a restaurant in it. Uh, there's a saltwater pool up on the roof. You go down to the fourth floor, there's kind of an atrium that bottoms on the roof of the third floor. It's on the fourth floor. They turned it into a dog park. Way cool. People in the building have, have pets. Um, this room is no pets. They're pet friendly here, but you got to get the right room because, and that's good because I don't smell anything in here. It smells, well, I do. I smell uh, fabric softener, the bag in the laundry room with the fabric softener and the detergent won't seal, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're looking at four or five, six houses a day. Some days we only look at two or three, but most days we're looking at a lot of houses and uh, in our price range. The stuff I'm looking at is like, woof. I've seen a few that were, eh, but the, there's this wrong or there's that wrong. We got, uh, we got two or three scheduled for this afternoon, which is good. It's Saturday. Daniel needs a, he needs a day off. You know, you can't work seven days a week like that. But, and I think he kind of is, but he's working like partial days on the weekend. So like today, I hope that's what he's doing. Dude, if you watch this, you need to have days off. I, I don't care how busy your industry is. You, you, you got to take time off once in a while. And I think he's doing that. I hope he's doing that. Anyway. Mm. We're going to look at a couple. One's a split level house. Pretty cool. Here's a picture of it. But yeah, that house up in Hutchinson, I'll, I'll, uh, here's some footage of driving through downtown Hutchinson. Again, old town, old town downtown. I like that. I think that's cool. That's an old city. Oh well, yeah, I like that though. <laughs> you go into some of these places, this building's a little bit older, I think, uh, but I'm set, man. But they had uh, gone into contract that morning when I went and drove out there to look at that. So, but I did get to stop at a place the ice <laughs> there's an ice maker in that freezer i did get to stop at a place uh under daniel's suggestion um called carriage crossing and uh here it is on a map and i had country fried steak and mashed potatoes green beans with country gravy and uh, they bring you this bread with cinnamon butter the clouds <clears throat> oh it was so good it's it's run by the amish uh, well i probably shouldn't stop there i don't have any cash on me right now and uh, they're Amish. I doubt they take credit cards. Well, then I found they got a website. <laughs> oh, man. So I went on in. I asked the girl up front, you can take credit cards because I don't have any cash on me at the moment. And she's like, no, no, we take credit cards. I'm like, okay, well, I'm on lunch. I heard this was the best place for a meal in the whole wide world, and I want to try it. And she's like, okay. And she, they sat me. It was real nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was, well, oh, that was good. That's up by Hutchinson. That's, that's about 35, 40 minutes from here. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I like Wichita. It gets hot in the afternoons here. Um, it gets hot in the afternoons. It gets up in the nineties so far is what I've seen. You've got big fluffy cotton ball clouds almost all the time blowing across the sky. I think that's beautiful I love seeing that um, I especially like it when one of those clouds will get between me and the Sun for a while <laughs> I really like that uh, but you know it's, it's so far it's not hit a hundred it's been in the low 90s at the worst uh, most days are in the high 80s and, and I love that it's humid. It's like 45 degree or 45 percent humidity on average is what I've been seeing. Um, but it cools off at night, and if there's a breeze, and there's usually there's some kind of a breeze going on. Yesterday it was windy, just outright wind blowing. Uh, it wasn't too bad as long as that's going on. It kind of cools it right off. It's still hot, but I'll tell you back home it's been like 110. Cause I, I, I tell you, I'm lonely here, but I'm on the phone with Mama probably an hour or three every day. <laughs> so I'm not that lonely. Uh, a hug would be nice, but anyway. Uh, yeah, friggin' uh, that's what's going on. Just the house hunt continues. We've, 
hopefully find something decent. I uh, got a couple to look at today that look look interesting. I don't know the pictures. The pictures they look decent, and then you get there and they're just. I looked at a house that was built in uh, the early 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 1900s. I didn't see the year on the thing. Probably 1900, 1900 and 1910. It reminded me of my house on Orange Street, but you go in, the foundation is not poured concrete. It's block and uh, it's cracked and broken in every way shape and form and then you walk through the house and you know you can practically stub your toe on the floorboard on the floorboards just because of the undulations and the but the garage oh man out back taking up about half of the, the backyard space there's a garage with a two-door roll up on the front and a one-door flip up on the back and it's like you can fit four cars in there I'm like oh <laughs> and again you know where I'm gonna be in the garage in the shop so um, but the house was just too far gone to uh, I, I can't you know they want 110 I think it was and I'm just like no I, I wouldn't not even 80 you're, you're, there's way too much needs to be fixed on that so no matter how much I like the shop space out back <laughs> anyway so let's see Wichita kind of went over that you can see some cool pictures hope you enjoyed those uh, Hutchinson cool little town I really like that uh, but like I told mama if we're just gonna get a house in town um, I'd, I'd rather be in Wichita, so, um, going around, what else is there? I think that's about it. That kind of brings you up to speed on what I'm into and what I'm doing. Um, oh, shout out to my little brother, Tyler, uh, ripped the whole front end of old Gringo Viejo off. <laughs> um, more pictures. Uh, he really, really got into that thing. He's got parts coming. Uh, I've been trying to force feed money down his throat. He's like, I got the money, I'm fine. I, I get this under control. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he took the whole front end of that. He's got the front end off of another trunk. Actually, the uh, the front member of the suspension was, was bent enough that he tried to straighten it out. Here's a picture of that that he sent me. Um, it didn't straighten out, so he cut it off. He's got the new one on there. He took all the measurements off the, the truck it came off of, uh, welded the new one on. I've seen his welds. Well, I mean, you're thinking about setting up a welding job. Tyler's got the damn thing done and, and looking really good. So you can see that weld in there. Um, just fantastic. That's all coming together. Uh, way cool. Shout out to the boys, Ty and Chase. Chase, quit knocking over cat food, dude. <laughs> I was on the phone with you, Dad, when you did that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's going to be cool, getting that truck back together. When I get back, i got to get a trailer, haul the bikes and the safes out. So that'll be uh, that'll be a project, too. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's it. Not bad. We came in under, we came in under 45 minutes. We came in under 30 minutes, almost. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's the, the, I'm starting to see some of the rougher houses like price reduction, price reduction. We're seeing that across the board on the MLS and the, um, on Zillow and stuff. So that's encouraging. Uh, I'm hopeful, if not optimistic, you know, uh, it's, it's everything we've looked at is like, God dang. Uh, one of the houses we're going to look at today, the garage is gone out back. It's a, like a separate garage, but it's just not even there. And it's like, uh, it's fine if we can get it for the right price. I can put a garage on, but uh, just stuff like that. There's, it's little things here or there. I guess maybe we're too picky. But like I say, uh, three houses we're willing to put a bid on in a week, week and a half. So I'm hopeful. I think we're going to find something. Maybe not optimistic. The biggest concern is, the biggest concern for me is, uh, is this inflation that we're seeing this year, is it 
just bottlenecks in the supply chain, which I think it's got a lot to do with that, or is it what's going to be the, the thing? So I've got a lot of money in the bank right now because we sold the house, and is it going to be worthless six months from now? I'm seeing the housing market already start to soften and go down, and uh, I don't want to pay $130,000 for a house that six months from now is only worth $50,000. That's a, that's, a, that's a concern. At the same time, I don't want the money that I've got in the bank to be worth, you know, one third either. I'd rather the property I own be worth one third than the money I own be worth one third and the property still up. So, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's a balancing act. But after two weeks of being here uh, and just being wrecked, I uh, went to South Dakota, found out how bad that fell apart on us because we were going to get land. I was going to get like five, six acres and, and we had the money for that. And, and just in the three months, well, in the six months between me visiting South Dakota and going back with money in my hand, in that six months, all the land sold, it all dried up. It's all worth three, four times uh, what we were looking at. I, I'm, I'm priced out. I can't afford it. So... Uh, went through looking at houses. Okay, fine. We got a little house in town. Hammered houses. I've told you about this. This is in the last video. Hammered houses. Uh, you know, gave up on it because it's like it, it, you've got to be in the two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollar range to even start looking at something that that still needs work. You know, it still needs work or it needs updating. And I'm just like, no, heck no. I like South Dakota better than here uh, for their freedom principles. The, the, the firearms laws are way better. Um, Kansas has better firearms laws in some respects, but they don't actually enforce them. So, eh, like, eh. and I'll talk about that later in another video. Uh, some of the things I've read over the past several years. But uh, so far, the housing market here has been way better. We're actually seeing stuff that I, I would bid on and that I couldn't find anything in South Dakota. So, And the weather is not that bad. And in the winter, the weather here will not be anywhere near as bad as South Dakota. So that's a huge deal. All right, well, now I'm not under 20 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, the nerve-wracking nature of everything, we priced out everything, come down here, I'm paying $80 a night, time, time constraint, time constraint, moving into this apartment, I'm only saving about $800 a month living here instead of at the hotel, um, which is probably a little more like $700 a month because I was getting free breakfast at the hotel, but I got a stove, I can cook my own breakfast, and I have, and I love it, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, I feel a lot more calm and, and I can enjoy this little, I'm looking forward to everybody getting out here. I'm, I'm, I'm not super stoked about being alone, but uh, I am enjoying this for a minute and as long as it's for a minute. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on. That's what I'm up to. God, I wish I could strap a camera onto a motorcycle and show you in real time uh, more of downtown Wichita. As I get more familiar with the area, I will do that because we're pretty, we're pretty set we're going to be moving here. Uh, this is a cool, well you saw the pictures, this is a cool town. I like, I like the area and uh, it is a pretty major metropolitan area, 600,000 people in the greater uh, metropolitan Wichita area, that's, that's huge, you know. It's not New York or Los Angeles, but <laughs> for a Midwest town. It's pretty big. So, anyway, I'm gonna go on. I gotta cook breakfast. I gotta turn the air back on. The noise from that was just, uh, yeah. You know, get some breakfast and uh, you guys take care. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.